The Oakland Police Department has dealt for decades with scandals, federal oversight, and a revolving door of top cops. And with more turmoil comes increasing uncertainty about the department's future. We continue our team coverage now with KTVU's Brooks DeRose. And Brooks, you have a look back at the struggles and many changes in leadership. Oh, yeah, some of their faces behind me here. We found there have been 10 police chiefs in the last 10 years. In fact, no one has held the job for more than three years since 2009. But department difficulties began long before that. Oakland Police Department's trouble and turmoil began in the year 2000. Four officers known as the Riders were accused of racial profiling, beating people, framing them, and planting drugs. Very disturbing. There's no tolerance for the actions reflected in the allegations. The scandal cost the city millions. Criminal cases ended in mistrials and federal oversight began. By 2013, the revolving door of chiefs was just beginning. Howard Jordan abruptly resigned. Anthony Toribio served just two days. Then Sean Went took over for several years. But soon, multiple officer misconduct scandals, including a sex abuse scandal involving officers and the teenage daughter of of a police dispatcher. I'm extremely angry about the alleged misconduct in this department. Went was forced to resign. Ben Farrow took over. Five days later, it was Paul Figueroa, replaced days after by city administrator Sabrina Landreth. We need to be a police department that is focused on behavior. In 2017, Ann Kirkpatrick was named the first female chief. Get your hand off the gun! A year later, five officers shot and killed Joshua Pollock, an armed homeless man. He was not posing a threat directly to the officers when he was unconscious or when he was sleeping. That incident and the federal monitor accusing her of falling behind in making reforms cost Kirkpatrick her job. She later sued for wrongful termination and won. Darren Allison became acting chief, and months later, former San Mateo police chief Susan Manheimer was appointed interim chief. Until LaRon Armstrong started in February 2021. By the fall, nine officers were disciplined for their part in an offensive Instagram account involving sexist and racist posts. You have to focus in on those that are committing crimes. With numerous challenges facing the city, 2023 began with a new mayor and new allegations of mishandling officer misconduct cases. Armstrong was suspended, then fired. Now added to a long list of chiefs who have come and gone. Darren Allison is once again serving as acting chief. There have been more than a dozen chiefs to leave the city in 20 years. Brooks DeRose, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Yeah, like you said, it has been a revolving door when you look at that list, just no consistency. So what do you know, Brooks, about the process of finding the next chief? So there will be a national search. That means they can look outside of the department, but they can also look inside the department to see if there's anyone that could take over and would be willing to take over in the future. All right. We will stay on top of this, Brooks. Thank you. And stay with KTVU for the latest on the shakeup at the top of Oakland's police department. You can also visit our website. It's all at KTVU.com.